Hey coaches, in today's video I'm going to go over three variations of our sprint out passing game that we use to confuse the defense. Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. If this is the first time visiting my channel and you want to know what my channel is about, then let me just let you in on a little thing. We talk RPOs, we talk passing concepts, running schemes, no huddle, hurry up, tempo, out of the spread offense. And if that's something that you think you'll enjoy, please smash that subscribe button. And if you, this is, you're coming back to it, welcome. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. We just got done with our football season, and I'm ready to dive back into this. Now, the last video I did, I actually did it for Coach Allball in his new uh, website, and you can click that link down below in the description where I talk about three passing concepts we use, and I think personally the three best passing concepts to use for a rollout passing game. Now, sometimes the defensive coordinators know what they're doing. They scout us. They know our tendencies because I'm only human. So they want to try to stop us. And when that happens, that's fine because now, in today's video, I'm going to go over three variations we use in our sprint out passing game to get those defensive coordinators off our back so we can score more points. Hey coaches, so the first variation we do out of our sprint out passing game is we put in the sprint out draw. And it is, it is an amazing play, especially when the guy in the sky of the box sees that these guys are over-pursuing and they're sprinting as hard as they can to contain the quarterback on your normal sprint out. The moment you see this, this is what you call the sprint out draw. And what we do, so our sprint out is to the right, let's just say we call it Randy. I think that's what the Tony Franklin system calls it. So let's just say it's Randy. We call it Randy draw, easy enough. So the wide receivers, they hear Randy. They just know, okay, nothing is, is tagged with that Randy. We're just running our normal flood concept. No biggie. And he is running a post. So the line here is draw. They are going to be blocking guard, right guard, right tackle, and center. They're blocking their normal uh, slide protection. That's how we do our, our passing, our sprint out. Everyone's just getting their gap, their play side gap. This guy is basing it. Everybody else is getting their play side gap. What works is backside, okay? So when we call Randy draw, then the left tackle knows, all right, that if I got a guy hit up the outside of me, I've got to wash him out. I want him to get up the field. I don't care if he thinks he is beating me. That is fine. I'm going to use jujitsu. Whatever he does, I'm going to use it against him just to wash him up the field. Now the backside guard, the left uh, guard, he has to know where that guy is. If there's someone in that A-gap, he is just straight up blocking down. That's what he's doing. He's just washing that guy down. His job is done. If there is someone in that B-gap, then he is going to be doing the same thing as the tackle. He is just going to wash that guy out and just let him beat him up the field. He's got to create a gap. So it's really simple. Guy in my A gap, washing down. Guy in the B gap, washing him out. That simple. Now I know what you're saying. Coach, all these guys are blocked, but this linebacker, are you trying to kill your running back? No, I'm not. We Remember, we call this, when we see these guys flaring, or flying, flaring, flying over top to get second contain, so he's not supposed to be there. But it's not a perfect world. If this guy is there, well then, it's my guy against their guy. I am hoping my guy is a lot better than their guy. Remember, the only thing we can do as play callers is make it a one-on-one, -on -one and hopefully our guy wins. All right? Now, the running back, what he's doing is he's taking three steps. So, going to the right, he's opening up with his right. One, crossover with his left. Two, on that third step, he's planting with his right, and then he is coming straight back down the line, right where he was. He's not getting back. He's not getting forward. He's going three to the right, planting, and coming straight back. He needs to stay on that line. Quarterback, he is just he's taking the ball. He's taking two steps, right, left, making it look like the ball is up here, making it look like he's going for his normal rollout, and then he's just handing it off underneath. And it's up to the running back to find the hole. And what we do to teach them is this. Hey, look, take a picture pre-snap. If there's someone in this B gap, then nine times out of ten, once you get the ball, cut it up in the A gap. Is there some? If there's someone in this A gap right here, then nine times out of ten, you're going to cut it into the B gap when you get the ball. You've got to be a player. You've got to find the open hole. 
All right, coaches, so the next variation we do out of our rollout passing game is a throwback screen or tunnel screen off the rollout action. Now, I've got to give credit where credit is due. I stole this from Mouse Davis in the run and shoot. I think the run and shoot is the greatest offense in the history of football. If you don't think that, you're wrong. Yeah, that's right. You were wrong. The run and shoot is the greatest offense ever invented. Anyways, so... We, what we do is we, we tag it to our rollout to the right. So like I said in the previous example, Randy's rollout to the right. Let's say our tunnel screen to the left is belt. We would call it Randy belt. So the wide receivers, the three wide receivers would know, okay, I've got Randy. That's just our normal fl um, flood concept. We're going to run that. Boom. They're taken care of. They don't care about anything else. He is running our uh, Randy pass protection where he is helping the edge. Okay, the thing that changes is the offensive line. So they are running Randy protection, sprint out, slide, half slide, hinge protection for three steps before they get out and do their tunnel screen. So he is blocking man on right here. He's got his gap, got his gap, hinging, hinging. They're counting 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Then they are releasing. And this tackle right here is releasing, and he is going to kick out that uh, corner. This guard is releasing, and he is not doing that. But this guard is releasing, and he is trying to get the next color he sees. Okay? The center is blocking down, and then he is releasing, and he is getting the first color inside the box. All right? So usually it's going to be this linebacker right here. And then everybody else is doing the same thing, just looking for color all right that's what the line's doing now the backside wide receiver his rule is he is taking three hard steps one two three so let's say his right foot is up he's taking that first step with the left that second step with the right that third with the left planting and he is retracing and coming straight back down the line of scrim or straight back down his stem for three steps and then he's running straight down the line of scrimmage so three up plant three back down the line of scrimmage and what he's trying to do and what we try to teach our quarterback to do is you want to throw the ball so this guy right here after he comes straight back down and down the line of scrimmage he wants to catch it right on the hash we like to call this play when we're on the hash because that's a landmark for our quarterbacks so we want to throw the ball right here so the wide receiver can get underneath this and then take it to the house and the quarterback what you're doing is you are taking four steps so we're open up to the right one crossover two three four on that fourth one we're planting and we're throwing it just a catchable ball it doesn't have to look pretty we're not firing it it may be a lob it may be a fire we're just trying to find open space so we can just dump it off to our wide receiver and let him be an athlete and score now the last variation we do off of our rollout passing game is actually an RPO and I stole this from a team that did it to us and as it was they were doing it to us to actually win the game I sat on the sideline and went that's a damn good play I'm stealing that so what we're gonna do is we're instead of rolling it we've been rolling out to the right this time we're actually rolling out to the left and what we do is we'll call this we just name it a one-word play uh, since we're in the south in South Carolina we name it Clemson, Clemson with an L going to the left. So we would just call this Clemson. This is a one word, Clemson, Clemson, Clemson. Everybody knows what to do. The three wide receivers know they're still running their flood concept to this side. The running back lines up on the right side. And when the quarterback says, ready, he flips to the left. He bounces, bounce motion to the left side, and then we snap it. And this is what we do. We're running our rollout to the left. So now the left side, the left tackle, left guard, and the center are all blocking. Head up. He has got him. Let me try that again. He's got him. He's got his gap. He's got his gap. Hinging on the back side now. He, the running back, is helped sealing the edge. And it's and it's, the RPO action comes to this. The quarterback is either going to run it or throw it based on the corner. And what our wide receiver is doing, the single wide receiver, is he is stuttering off the line, looking like he is going to block for two seconds. Just breaking down, showing hands, and then after two seconds, he is releasing vertical. 
1,001, 1,002, gone. The quarterback is rolling out three steps deep, getting deep, attacking the line of scrimmage, and his eye is on that corner. If that corner sits there, acts like he's going to block, and then bails or comes right at the quarterback, all the quarterback's going to do is just throw a nice, easy catch to this guy, the R right now, for a touchdown. If the corner sinks back, then all the quarterback's going to do is just keep on running to what get whatever he can and then step out of bounds. This is an amazing play, and it really attacks the corner when he starts getting slack on the rollout. There you have it, coaches. Those are the three things we do to counteract what the defense is doing to stop our sprint out passing games. If you do anything different, please leave a comment below. I'm always looking to learn, and especially in this offseason. This is something I want to expand for next year because we've got a very athletic quarterback coming back. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know. And also share it on Twitter if you want to and if you can because that would be great to get the word out because our community is growing. I'm learning a lot of things from y'all just in the past year. I want to continue to learn. Y'all are a lot smarter than me, so let's grow together. And until next week, coaches, remember, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.